Hey Rob! John, what are you guys doing? We're checking this rack out that Rob just got. Brand new rack. Where'd you I got get a this? really good rack. What rack? Okay, so checking everything I can online to try to find racks for our maxes. They got for all other machines. Found Yamaha's got one. It's like 900 bucks, and it's too short to put stuff behind a box. There was another company I won't mention the name, but they were like 1,400 dollars for basically something like this. Then I stumbled across a guy a website on Facebook is Beaver Concepts. I think he's out of North Carolina. So I sent him some messages, got, I wanted measurements and stuff to make sure I could get everything, you know, for our long trips on there. And he sent me pictures, measurements, told me how it fits. And so I pulled the trigger, decided to order it. And then I said, well, how much, you know, I figure it's heavy, how much to ship? And he goes, I, I pay for the shipping. So this was 800 shipped to my door. Um, now that's as of the date that you ordered it. Right. Yes. It might go up or down depending uh, he's on been, price of metal. As I saw, he was pretty consistent with his prices. So he apparently is a fabricator and um, he's got a website, beaverconcepts.com, and then a Facebook page. And it's nice in that he, he drills all this stuff out, fabricates all the. You can put pack outs up there. What I chose to do is I, I bought a 195 liter dry duffel bag, heavy duty from Cabela's. That fits completely across there and that lets me carry all my clothes sleeping bag tent uh stuff for my son when he's riding the quad and you know it comes with the drilled out spots for roto packs now now you you it came with bolts but you you did you did your own modification down yeah, here what was yeah, that look around here so coming, i don't want to use this right here on this i don't want to use the uh rack all the time it's basically when we overland so it, you just use the factory screws to put it in. Worked fine, but I thought, you know what? I want to be able to get it on and off without having tools. Oh, uh, so so I put screws. thumb screws on it, gotcha. and I can just unscrew those, pop it off, and then when I trail ride, I don't need the rack. And you put the roto packs on. Yep. Yep. But that was pre-drilled for that. Yep. He's so got one on he's both got a sides. pattern here, pattern on that side. He claims that you can put two one gallons. That's a two gallon. It fits perfectly fine. So I'm thinking about putting water over here. Um, the only thing that I probably would have done, if you swing around here, uh -huh. I would have done is, I would have, because this this one gallon would fit fine, but I wanted to put a two gallon, I would I would drill those holes up one angle, which put the top of the rotopack here, and then above this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the center hole. Yeah, so one one diagonal up from that. Because I see the bottom of the two is touching the machine. Yeah. Where if it was if you were up just one hole, it wouldn't be touching. I wonder if you could you could drill those yourself. Yeah, why don't we probably? Yeah, why don't we fabricate that? So yeah, so far this is this is basically the first trip. Um, put a couple of dings in it when I was. Uh, I was gonna say I see I see some some nicks in it already. Yeah. When we were installing it. <laughs> Rob, what year is your machine? uh 2022 and so what is he saying that this will fit this will fit all our maxes every every year 20 21 probably 21 22 23 because that's this and that's he, this the, uh, that's when yeah. our max came out yep. so yeah and he also makes like yours is a little the bed's the same dimension on yours but it doesn't have the rise like the Armax does okay but he'll make them to fit the wolverine too he makes them for polaris can-am so right, I'm, I'm seriously considering putting one on a can M one on my six seater, which we could throw more gear on top and then throw the deer underneath when we're hunting. Did he say anything about weight? How much weight it'll take? Uh, yeah, and I don't remember what it is. He gave me all the specs on that, how much it'll hold. But as wide as that shelf is and everything, and four four heavy duty bolts, I, I bet you, I bet you it's a pretty nice payload. Yeah, I mean it. This it is sturdy. I mean it's good fabrication. It does, I mean I'm shaking it and it's shaking. The, it's not moving. The the vehicle's moving. Are you going to have any trouble getting into your Yamaha box? Nope. Perfect. You open caught, that up for me, I would you? Caught and, uh, you know, we go overlanding. All this fits. It's a pretty good sized box. So, yeah. 
And the so, box has thumb screws inside too. So if I want to take it off, I can take it off and just go with nothing on the back. Bit. So so what's this fella's name? You remember? Oh uh, god. <laughs> we can cut that part out of the video. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to look at his name uh, because we texted back and forth, so it wasn't like, hey, Rob, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So he's, if I remember correctly, he's on Facebook, so you contact him through Facebook, Facebook yep. Messenger, and then you do all your work through there. So he'll, you do the order, he'll ship it to you, you pay him, he, he gives yep. you all that information on how to pay him, and he, and he gets yep. your information on how to get it shipped to you. So he doesn't come over every Sunday for chicken dinner or anything no. like that? No. Okay, gotcha. No. But I was just telling you that he showed me the design that, before I ordered this, the design he made for his machine. So he wanted to be able to carry a spare tire. So same rack here, but off of this, he came out like this. So it was even with the top here, but at an angle, and a tire fits perfectly in there. And then he had space on both sides to put stuff. Oh, really that's cool. sweet. And then for another guy, he built a hole all the way out to here, and it's got a flip down metal like this stuff, flip down so you can close it and lock it up. So you got a cage on it. You can still see in it. Yep, you can still see in it. Lock it up though. Okay. It doesn't get in the way of your rear view mirror at all? Nope. No, because it'll be nope. see through. No, the only time I have trouble with a rear view mirror now is I put that big bag up top. Then I so got to side mirrors, but that's with anything. So what I'm taking out of this out of this conversation is that Rob has a big rack and a nice box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we're not we're not sponsored by Beaver Concepts or anything like that. I I just asked the guy if we could put our, put stuff on the YouTube channel because, like I said, it'll help him out. Every well, everything I saw online was really expensive or wouldn't work for my machine. Mm -hmm. uh, the one was like fourteen hundred dollars, and I thought, you know what, that's a lot of money just for you know, a few trips a year. And that's a that that one has different lengths, but I don't think you can go out. What is this? This the width of this? Yeah. It's like uh, 12 16 inches? inches. 16 inches, yeah. yeah. So I think the other one, like I think the one you're talking about, go it's six, 12. six, eight, twelve. Yep. You you choose. Gotcha. So so I he said go ahead. He appreciated if we put something on YouTube and I put stuff on social media about it. Um, yeah. You know I, because if you if price you got point an, it's right. If you got an Armax, this is the cheapest way to go if you want to do overlanding or have be able to carry more gear and now have, will he do has, other machines or he just has a familiarity with the r maxes well he owns an r max but he if you look at his website he does can am polaris and like i said I, i'm seriously considering getting a can am one oh that's right for my six seat that i use for hunting gotcha because if you put deer in you want a place for gear you can put the gear up here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. put the throw deer in the back underneath uh, so we got 16 inch shelf stands or whatever yeah. we got a currently that has a 16 inch shelf on the top yep. however he he can build it to specs how high off of the uh tailgate is that uh, i don't remember i got it all written down but i was more concerned about opening this and be able to get stuff in and down gotcha. like the yamaha one's really nice mm -hmm. good fabrication but the shelf is like this level yeah so it would have interfered with my vent yeah it would have covered up our nice not done yet adventures logo and I couldn't get, I could get my hand in there, but I couldn't get anything big. And the goal to having this is when we go, like we're going to Newfoundland, I'm going to have to pack all my gear for 10 days. Not just for you, but for the boys too. Yeah. Yep. Because there's, there's three of us going and. They can only hold so much on One rides a quad. Yeah. So he's got a box on the back, but you know, there's only so much you can hold. So gotcha. 10 days is a long time to haul food, water, drinks. All your clothes, all your gear, and you're out in the middle of nowhere in Newfoundland. So. And when are we going to Newfoundland? August. August uh, 5th through the 16th. Nice. <laughs>